Hi, it's Rosie Cloudy. Today we are going to talk about a culture that involving a lot of monkeys. What is that, you may ask? The Maya. So, in the Maya mythology, in the famous Papa Vu, the deities building the world built the world starting with soil, woods, animals, before they create human last. The gods tried different materials to use to create the humans. However, they experienced a couple times of failures. So the creation gods, they want to create this kind of beings who are able to think, who are able to work, who are also able to worship. They want this kind of thing to be human beings, to be those people they are creating. So they kept trying. They create this kind of wooden people. However, those people are reckless, they are rude, they don't know what's the correct manner, they don't know what's the appropriate behaviors. So, the gods got really mad at them and then they decide to pour some rain. The gods arrange the torrential rain to drown all of the wooden people simply because they are bad because gods don't want them, because they are not those kind of people who are able to continue their culture, who are able to be serialized enough. Where will those people who are destroyed go, you may ask? Where will their bodies go? Or what happens to them after they gave the rain? Alright, those wooden people along with all other bad behavior people, they were turned into monkeys. They were transformed into monkeys as a punishment. <sighs> Very sad times, right? So the gods have tried different materials. What did they end up using? After all the failures of making people, the hero twins, Huanapu and Shabalanke, who are depicted as artists, creators, sculptors with a high talent of artsy stuff. They finally made the Mayan people out of corns. This is also why the Mayan peoples are called corn people. What's more about this is the hero twins has also a half brother twins who were known as the evil twins because they were trying to frame they were trying to frame the hero twins right so the hero twins couldn't take it thus the hero twins punished their their half brothers for being rude to them guess what guess what happened to the evil twins they got turned into monkeys as well. Shababa is the ultimate hell in the Mayan culture. It's a place you will go after death. It's a place only bad people go. Maybe not only, but like bad people go. It's hell. Treat it as a normal hell. So they are the animal figures with human-like postures. You don't, you can actually see monkeys doing this. You can only see people trying to be monkey and doing this. Like those dogs in amusement park. <laughs> and in this picture, we can saw there are instruments. There are dancing and that's in the hell. I mean, from this picture alone, I'm not sure whether it's a good place to be in. Because from what I can see, they're having fun. Yes? So I'll leave a doubt with this hell thing, with this shobaba, because we are not sure and we can never be sure about that. Speaking of this, there is one important thing you need to be aware of when talking about the Mayan culture, which is the Mayans treat mythology and history as one intertwined entity instead of how the Western world normally perceives. 
Mystery are the mystery, religions are the religions, and the history are the facts. History are scientific. It's not like that in the Mayan culture. So in Mayan's culture, there are a lot of overlapping happening in the mythology and the historical sites. Like the mythological events and the historical events in Maya are kind of same and intertwined as the same time log. As such, the works we could gather uh, of their arts, of the Mayan arts, they are not only a representation of how Mayan mythology is impacting the arts, it's also how their history were as how they perceive it. They may include work as human deity coexistence and like how they were treating each other during the ancient times. Which in the Western sense you may say deities cannot be interactive with humans on the normal world, but actually in the Mayan sense it might work. Keep that in mind. <laughs> So when analyzing their paintings, one must acknowledge their scenes as a combination of documenting and testifying. In early civilizations, Mayans explained the order of the universe based on the will of gods. All behaviors in the world were interpreted to happen due to the influence of the invisible energy of the universe. And those energy are sacred. Mayan people in their late age, like post-classic period, they have those rituals where they are trying to dress like monkeys and doing stupid stuff to mock those bad behaviors, humans who are destroyed and turned into monkeys. Ritual developed over times and it will passing from one, one location to another places. It was also very common for people wearing masks. Uh, the mask of bird heads, not the mask in prevention of COVID-19. So like they will wear all kinds of animal related products in order to feel closer to their gods, in order to feel the taste of humor within their activities. There are many paintings and also uh, other art art representations showing those kind of creatures who have semi-animal and semi-human who are de depicted as gods and from a modern day view we will say it's gotta be some kind of worship some kind of mixture of art some kind of thing we making up in our head by with our imaginations because we couldn't see any of those kind of animals exist. We couldn't see this kind of semi-deity, semi-human thing exist in the scientific world that we can understand right now. But actually, if you think about it, how can you be sure about that? Maybe? Maybe they existed. It's just we haven't found their fossils yet. Or we interpret their fuzzles as one person walking a dog instead of a dog lady instead of a dog man if that makes sense If you liked today's video, please make sure to give a like leave a comment It's Rosie Cloudy. I'll see you next time. Peace! So this is actually from a paper that I wrote for a class of my last semester. If you are interested about more about those Mayan culture, the art history thing, let me know and maybe I'll talk more about this paper. Okay? Stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.